Jermaine Dupree came to Memphis one time. 007 gave him. Shout out to DJ 007, one of the first people that, you know, believed in me and, and, and helped me along the way of what we was doing. He gave Jermaine Dupree a CD. Jermaine Dupree heard it, loved it, flew me to Atlanta. I thought my life was finna change, right? So I get down here. We go in the studio. He flew me out here. He flew 007 out here. He flew my business partner, my, one of my best friends, Jay Young, out here. I go in the studio, first thing he say, the shoes match the shirt, match the shades. That he quotes my bars from Married to the Game, one of my biggest players. Classic song, man. Pimp song, whatever you want to call it, right? Google that if you're watching this shit. Don one in the video, all the players in the video. This is real shit, right? So Jermaine Dupree's in the studio, and he's like, yo, you going to be like, you know, Snoop to my Dre. You're going to be like Jay-Z to my blase, blase, because he believed in what I was saying, right? And so I'm saying that so much to help a motherfucker understand. I was kicking game the whole time to the point where I'm in the studio with Jermaine Dupree. Thank the Lord, we, uh, this might have been over 10 years ago. My bitch calls me. Oh, I'm about to get locked up. I'm at the woo, 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 woo. I'm sitting beside Jermaine Dupree. This bitch finna go to jail for doing the shit that I'm rapping about while I think I'm finna get a record deal. How do I explain this to Jermaine Dupree that this is what I'm going through, that I'm finna have to bond this bitch out? And he like, man, you know, we finna go to the club and pop some bottles. You finna be the best rapper. Ooh, ooh. Life is crazy like that. But I'm telling people these stories so they understand how serious I was about the dynamic of the shit that I was speaking about. Now, that situation didn't pan out. He didn't wind up signing me for whatever reason. But getting that close to someone who was great in the music business and them believing in what I was saying, it let me know I'm on the right track. Because as I communicated with him, he may not never admit it, but he was mystified by that player shit that I was kicking in front of him. He was like, oh, this shit real? Like, you really do that? Like, oh, this ain't no fucking act. Hell, motherfucker, nah, I'm him. Google me.